Hey guys, thanks for checking out OnlineFanatic.com and my name is Kenny. Today I'm going to show you how to find potential good video games to make a niche site for. So let's hop onto it real quick. So one of the first things that I always do is that I always hop onto GameFAQs.com because it's one of the best places to find gems and you know you could find potentially very new games that um, hasn't had a lot of coverage and you could be like a master at that game so I always go to most wanted FAQs and here we go you'll see right here you know this is Dark Souls 2 a very popular game right now and Brave Frontier um, on the iOS so it there's a lot of games here so it's up to you a lot of the uh, PlayStation games are paid so if you're more into like free games then you want to target Facebook games iOS free-to-play types or if you like PC then you know you focus on PC so it's it's just preference and I personally focus on iOS because I like to play on my iPhone and face Facebook games as well so as you can see right here there's tons of games that it, that came out and they don't have a lot of coverage and people are requesting guides for it so I use brainstorm from here and figure out okay what's a what's a good game to uh, you know to look at and see whether it's it's good or not so once let's say if I pick an example right here I'm just going to pick uh, let's see what's a good game okay puzzles and dragons right so let me let me go to uh, my favorite tool it's called the long tail pro as you can see right here I already put it in puzzles and dragons guide well actually let me go with puzzles and dragons first and analyze it in case you haven't checked out a uh, long tail pro it's basically just this keyword research tool that tells you how competitive um, a keyword is and you can I always base my decision off this too because it's super helpful and it really gives me a good idea how well I can rank just by looking at the metrics that they show up here um, I'll leave a link below uh, of a guide that I created just for this tool this tool is actually a paid tool it costs uh, I bought it um, on a discount because um, the guy that made that Spencer Hawes had a discount for Christmas so I bought it for like um, I think it was 40 bucks but you can get it for 50 something or 97 I'm not quite sure I'll I'll, ch I'll put a link below so you can check it out if you if you're looking to look for a good keyword research tool and I also put a free one uh, it's called market market samurai and they have a free trial version so you could try that as well alright so back to the topic so as you can see it's not too competitive and you can really make a good site if you enjoy the game so basically what this game is kind of like a uh, puzzle slash fighting game, so it's it's pretty popular. So let me go to Google Keyword Planner and show you real quick. As you can see right here, I, uh, I already have it on here, but here, puzzles and dragons um, globally gets about 70, 60 thousand searches uh, a day, not a day, monthly. So it, it's a pretty good um, gaming niche site you could make. You could make. And you, you can see right here, there's a couple of uh, long tail keywords that you can target. And Puzzles and Dragons Guide, it's probably, <clears throat> excuse me, it's probably one that you, you will want to target because it's not as competitive. And you can totally rank for it too. The only big competitor you have is uh, Puzzle and Dragons Forum and Puzzle Dragon X. And it is actually a very nice site. So if you think you can do about the same quality as this site, then you will have a shot to rank very well too because people are going to come to your site. His site is a little laggy because he has so many pictures, but you can you can organize your stuff in such a way that it's not laggy like this. So people might be turned off by this, but um, this is just to give you an idea, right? So if you go back to and see there's a forum and you know this is pretty standard like his his it's just a forum where people like to talk about the game and you could totally do this too um, so you're competing with these guys and you can totally outrank them too with good on-page SEO and linking which I have a guide for 
and you can check out on my my site um, and all these can be beaten out look at this guy this guy it doesn't really have that much but you can totally beat them out if you're interested in this game so these are these are good ways to find um, games to to make a niche site for game game advocate is like my to go place to find it now and I would like to show you another place to get them here it's called game cheetah this is more of a Facebook games and you can see a bunch of uh, top games on Facebook and you can see how many users are uh, actually playing it and you can find the genre over here like right now pu uh, not puzzle the um, match tree games are actually really popular and you can just go ahead and you know perhaps make a site for it right now Candy Crush is already pretty big so Farm Hero Saga is one of the best ones um, to make a niche site for because it's also really big and a lot of people actually search for it let me show you why so if you're not if you're not familiar with Candy Crush Saga it's basically this puzzle match tree puzzle game that that people make um, not make they have a match tree and then you have to totally you just get hooked onto the game just go check it out you'll see why and Farm Hero Saga is the same thing and it has actually increased in volume so it is something that you really want to check out and they have tons of levels so level let me just pick a random level I'm pretty sure people get stuck on it all the time so people are actually searching for it uh, right now yeah it start the volume starting to pick up so look at all these I'm here with Saga level 53, 54, 40, 33, da 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 look at 85 look at this look at um, all these little um, you know long tail that you can totally make an, a site for and this is this is how you you get tons of traffic right so this is definitely a good game you could make a niche site for and I highly suggest you go for it and there you go that's how you find really good um, keywords to rank for look at this well there was a big search but since then it's kind of died down but you're gonna get uh, trickles of traffic just doing this over and over again and these are my top two sites and if you like um, iPhone games I'm sorry uh, top grossing mobile games there you go this is this is what I like to use if you like mobile games um, right now Clash of Clans is really big so something you might want to check out Game of War um, you just have to check out and see whether you like the game. Sometimes you might like the game, but I mean you don't like the game, and you when you make the site for it, you you get bored because you just don't enjoy doing it. So I highly suggest that you try out a game that you like, has a lot of searches, and you enjoy the game as well. So it makes it so much easier for you to make the site as, as well. So these are my little tips. Uh, this is actually called ThinkGaming.com, and they they have all the latest information. You can potentially find really good games down here don't overlook the the ones down in the 50s because uh, some of them just started out so if you actually find one that's really good and you like the um, like puzzles and dragons right here but if you like the, the the content and you think it has potential to be a really big game go ahead and make it you know it's all about you know, how many you make and then you just need to hit a really big one to make a, a really good site and, and generate like five hundred dollars a month thousand dollars a month just from the gaming side alone and that concludes the mini tutorial that I have here and be sure to check out my other stuff and I'll talk to you guys later drop it